day he left me was the day that I died. And I was reborn as a witch. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name's Raven, as you know, and in this video we're going to be talking a little bit about my rescue rabbit, Mouse. Before I go on, I'm going to get him so that I can introduce you guys to Mouse. So this is the little guy. He is very tiny, but this is Mouse. Say hi to the camera, Mouse. <laughs> well, he's almost a month old, I think. I estimated that he was born on the 29th of June, so he'll be one month old, July 29th. This Friday so this little baby I was out feeding found him while I was feeding in the corral and I was like you're not supposed to be here looked around for any one of his parents siblings a nest there was absolutely nothing his eyes were still shut his ears were still pinned down and he was about half this size and he had almost no fur on him, so I was like, you know what, you're coming with me because I have a feeling that you need to be rescued. So, now I have him. So, I'm going to be answering a couple questions. People have not sent them out to me, but I figured that they're questions that people would ask, so I'm going to answer them. I feel one question I would be asked is, what do I feed him? Well. When I first found him, I immediately told my boyfriend, and he went and got me KMR, Kitten Milk Replacer, and Heavy Whipping Cream. I use a recipe of one part KMR to two parts water to one and a half parts heavy whipping cream. No sugar. To know that the milk is warm enough, you put about two drops on the back of your hand, and as long as it doesn't burn you, it should be perfectly fine for the baby. So, the way that I fed him is I would use a pipette because... We couldn't find anything smaller, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to see if he'll take the milk from this. And I just barely squeeze it little bits at a time, and you'll see it coming down, but it should only let out a drop at a time. And you just kind of put it on the side of his mouth, or right in front of it, and you just let the milk touch his mouth, and then he'll start drinking it. But do not add too much, because it can get in their nose, and it'll suffocate them, and possibly kill them. Now that he's a little bit older, I've been feeding him hay and grass, and within the next week or so, I'm going to introduce him to pellets and see if he'll eat those. I feel another question I might be asked is, what do I keep him in? For the first week and a half, I kept him inside of this pet carrier. I still keep him in it at night, but just yesterday, I built a little thing underneath my library that I let him run around in. It's kind of secret because my stepdad doesn't know about him, but my mom absolutely loves him. So yeah, he sleeps inside of that and he's got this really soft blanket. It's the smallest one I had and it came off a stuffed animal from Valentine's Day. But he loves it. He loves the stuffed animal. The stuffed animal's actually in his little enclosure under the library and I will show you guys that next. This is the little area. I have all my art stuff and boxes over here to cover it up so my stepdad doesn't see. That's the stuffed animal. There is his little litter box that is filled with hay because he seems to go to the bathroom everywhere I put his hay. And then he did have a little box in there but I took it out right now because he was in it and I needed to grab him. But as of right now he seems to enjoy it. I have chicken wire because it's just makeshift until I get some actual mesh wire panels. And then eventually he'll have an actual enclosure down here. But he seems to enjoy this as of right now. This is the little box that I have for him. I just cut a hole in this tiny Walmart box. And I feel like he uses it more as a chew toy than he does as an actual house. But, I mean, he's going to do what he's going to do with it. But at least he likes it. Another question I might be asked is, am I ever going to train him to like walk on a leash or play with toys or stuff? The answer is yes, I'm going to try. Hopefully I can get him to play with toys instead of chewing on his house or me. 
and also my sister has a candy set which if you don't know what that is it's pony beads which are little beads that you make jewelry out of I'm going to make him a bougie harness someday when I actually make it I will show you guys but I need to get the clips for it first and then we'll see how that goes because I have no idea how that's gonna go so wish me luck and I'm not going to do it until he's a little bit bigger maybe twice his size because as of right now I feel like he's still way too small to try to do anything with him but other than that I'm going to try to train him to do as much as I can if you guys have any more questions for me please leave them down in the comments and I will try to answer them or make a future video about more questions you guys ask but thank you for watching please like and subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you always get notified when I upload and yeah have a good day love you wolf pack <laughs> welcome to the witch wood welcome to the witch wood